Animal Rebellion. They blocked distribution centers for McDonald's for 96 hours. They stopped the trucks from delivering products to about 1,300 restaurants. Here's the video on, on TikTok that's gone viral. It's got about 300,000 views now, I believe. Hello, we're here at McDonald's distribution centers in Hemel Hempstead. We've shut this place down. We're going to be here for 18 hours. We've shut, shut all four distribution centers across the country down to send a message to McDonald's that they're destroying the planet, they're killing animals, and we're not going to stand for it. Here's the thing. If all animals which were designated to be slaughtered were slaughtered, then the stunt vegans pulled didn't save even one animal. What did they exactly accomplish? McDonald's maybe lost some money, but they're still operating. Did vegans save any animals by doing that? Probably not. Did people go vegan just because they couldn't buy stuff from McDonald's? I don't think so. If meat went bad, then maybe tons of it went to waste and weren't used as something beneficial like food. Instead of doing that, they could have gone on those vigils to give water to thirsty cows and pigs. They could have cooked plant-based food and give to homeless people. Or maybe they could have invested that time trying to feed stray dogs and cats or find them homes, which would actually help animals. But other than that, it's all fun and games until it happens to you. Let's imagine that anti-vegans shut down the distribution of Ed's restaurant and damage the business. Imagine occupying the Ed's restaurant and eating their meat from McDonald's or standing there with screens and disrupting the business. Vegans would cry us a river. In fact, one non-vegan trolled vegans and was cooking meat in a vegan restaurant. And of course, vegans did not like it. That is absolutely ridiculous. Pathetic, mate. Of course they're going to call the police. You are in the restaurant causing a problem to that business. The establishment has a right to ask you to leave. If you don't leave, what do you think they're supposed to do? How could they not call the police just because you're black? You can't go into a place, misbehave, cause shit, refuse to leave, and then say, whoa, but you got BLM outside, so you can't call the police. I, I know it's a prank, and, you know, we're making jokes and stuff, but that's like, that's some serious bullshit, mate. Vegans don't like it when someone annoys workers and disrupts their business. So how about this? You don't do the same to non-vegans. I think that stunt was a waste of time and resources, which could have been utilized better.